well, let's just say money ain't no issue anymore. <laughs> place called the RNA Showgrounds at the moment and uh, well this is the place that they sort of hold our big annual sort of a uh a show, carnival, festival, whatever you want to call it. It's called the Ecker, and uh, this place is literally only about two blocks up from where this shop is. I don't really have any reason to be here. I sort of just wanted to come here to, to film. I don't know, I'm just trying to find cool places to, to start to film these vlogs. I've never actually been here uh, apart from when the Ecker is on, so it's, it's, it's really weird. This place is really deserted at the moment, and I, I, I don't know if I should be here, really. Got all of this stadium seating. All the way around, really. Come to think of it, this place would actually be really good for a photo shoot. Look at all the lines you can use. I don't know, something about lines in photography, we, we just love it. So if you're not a photographer, you're probably not gonna quite get it, but uh, if you are into photography or videography or anything creative like that, you're probably gonna appreciate all these lines, so check out these lines, guys. <laughs> Oh god, it's getting to my head. All this time alone is getting to my head. Happy Easter to you all for the weekend, by the way. It was a uh, Easter turned into a it turned into a pretty big weekend for for me actually, and it all started on Friday, Good Friday. We sort of had our family lunch with my mum uh, on that day. Sunday was a uh, was my mum's partner's daughter's birthday, and then that night uh, I went around to Shami's and we had that Easter eating challenge. Uh, I just wanted to eat a kilo of Easter bunnies. You might have already seen the video. If you haven't, uh, I'll link it down below. I think the worst thing about that challenge is a uh, we'd already had a massive lunch that day, and I was already full and uh, we'd also eaten a lot of chocolate as well as chocolate cake for the birthday that same day so I actually went into that challenge already feeling really full and sick. It's definitely not the best situation to go into a challenge but uh, I still feel like I won. There's been a bit of an argument of who actually won that challenge. I still believe I won. There's a lot of people saying that I had a few crumbs in front of me like seriously come on they were like crumbs like that big out of a kilo of chocolate. Don't give me that shit. In some other news, um, my channel got monetized the other day. Pretty stoked on that. It only took three days to get monetized. I was expecting it for it to, to take a couple of months. I've heard it usually takes about a month for it to get approved. And uh, when I went to click it on, it was saying that it's probably going to take about two months at the moment. So I wasn't expecting anything for a, for a long time, but uh, well, it got approved in three days. I don't know how or why, but uh, it did. And uh, well, I'm not complaining about that. So, well, let's just say money ain't no issue anymore. <laughs> Just kidding, I got like one dollar on my first day. But still, that's uh, that's inspired me to come out and film this video and maybe make another two bucks, so. By the way, thanks to everyone who uh, who went and checked out my, uh, the first episode of uh, my interview segment called uh, Just Justin With You on my channel. If, uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, go, feel free to go check it. Uh, I'll, I'll link it down below as well. I actually had a lot of really good feedback from that, so. Uh, Cheers guys, really appreciate that and uh, well I'm stoked because uh, I actually really enjoyed doing that sort of content as well so I'm definitely going to continue doing that. I'm actually in the middle of organizing episode 2 at the moment. Michael has literally just messaged me saying uh, saying that they're keen to do it so Marty and Michael are going to be next on the show so any questions you've got for Marty and Michael chuck in the comments below. I'll pick out, I don't know, I'll pick out my favorite questions I guess. Uh, questions that I feel like everyone would find interesting so whether it's about them, whether it's specifics to any videos that they've done, I don't know what it is, just chuck them in the comments below and uh, I'm going to pick out a few of those to, to ask them on the next show. At this stage, I don't know exactly how long or how uh, how often I'm going to be able to put out these interview ones. It's going to take a quite a bit of uh, organising each time to find times and arrange people and, and all of that. And uh, I'm really time struck as it is. As much as I would love to do one a week, uh, it's, prob it's probably going to be a bit hard to do one a week. I'm going to try for once every two weeks, so uh, I'll probably try to get one out again next week. But for now, it'll probably just be as much as I possibly can. I hope you guys understand that. 